You want me to put that on my todger? This one's wife. In the Lady Garden. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. You are aware that, finally, this one's wife has been involved in the creation of some content for Netflix. We've heard that there's going to be an emphasis on cookery, but also gardening. No doubt you're extremely excited at the prospect of being told how to garden by this one's wife, a world expert in anything and everything she turns her mind to. We really are blessed to have this living saint on the planet. As is always the case, your glorious narrator, the Ultra, has, through his extensive reach and secretive contacts, been able to obtain an early exclusive of the initial recording that goes with In the Lady Garden. It really is a captivating look at the presentation skills and horticultural insight wielded by this one's wife. So may I suggest you make yourself a delicious drink and that you settle back as you can now immerse yourself in the Lady Garden. Hello, I'm the Duchess of Sussex, and welcome to In the Lady Garden. As a strong, independent, empowered woman who has never relied on a man for anything, I'm always encouraged and have always encouraged my fellow feminists to take a greater interest in their lady gardens. You join me on a beautiful sunny day here in Monte Show. I was out here earlier when there were the first beads of dew on my lady garden. That early moistness is so important for all our lady gardens. Now, I have a confession to share with you all. When I first moved to Monte Shitshow, I let lots of different men come into my lady garden. If I'm honest, it was a bit of a mess, overgrown, uncared for, and with some rather strange odours that could be smelt in certain parts of my lady garden. I encouraged those initial gardeners, some of them of the uphill variety, to have a good root around in my lady garden. They were experts in local lady gardens, skilled at getting in amongst the bush to find out the real nitty gritty. I met up with four of the men who had spent several hours encamped in my lady garden and the news they had for me was not good. My lady garden was not a pretty place. Dry, barren in some places, overgrown and hazardous in others. It was clear that a lot of work was needed on my lady garden before it became the sanctuary that this one and I enjoy regularly. It was after I had let those four men poke around in my lady garden that I was having a green tea with my good friend Tuppence Go Lightly 
that I recounted my encounter with those men tramping through my lady garden like jungle explorers. Tuppence was horrified since her own lady garden had been designated an area of outstanding natural beauty since 1995, with its fascinating features such as a natural waterfall and an award-winning lawn which she trims so neatly and keenly every day that it has become known as the shaven haven of Monte Chicho. Anyway, Tuppence told me it was high time I stopped allowing rough men to stick their hands in my lady garden and that I gave it the attention it deserved. She suggested that I commenced self-care of my lady garden, cutting back the undergrowth, rescuing any small creatures that may have been trapped in the bush, and doing something about the foul odours which seeped from the large crack in the centre of the lady garden. I realised with an empowered authentic and guttural reaction, just how right she was. But then it hit me. I would share this journey of discovery with the world. It was high time my authentic and organic lady garden, a sanctuary made by women, was opened up and looked on by the world. I knew that I wanted the warmth of the Californian sun to fall on it and cause a natural spring to burst from the central crack, washing away the cobwebs and rejuvenating a place which had become tired through overuse. And so the inspiration for in the Lady Garden came into being as I invited cameras to really probe my Lady Garden, to get behind the curtains so the world got to see the neglected and forgotten Lady Garden before I introduced a range of experts to come and shower my Lady Garden with their creative juices. Oh, I wanted people in my lady garden again, probing, exploring, shaping and caressing it, until I was reborn as a feminist and transformed. This is a very special journey, one that I want you to immerse yourself in, so that you can marvel at how a dangerous and unwelcoming lady garden became the place it is today, where strangers come and dump their load as they sit in my lady garden, breathing in the fragrant scent from my petals and admiring the floral variety in my lady garden. If you're ready, let's go back to the very beginning when finding the entrance itself to my lady garden was a challenge.